Kwa hiyo wakati tayari tumesha discuss heterotrophic nutrition kwa upande wa symbiosis ina maana sasa tunaendelea na heterotrophic nutrition kwa upande wa saprophytes. Saprophytes tunaangalia kwa upande wa nini saprophytes? Saprophytes maana viumbe ambao watakao shiriki katika system ya saprophytes wale wote tutakuwa tunawaita kama ni saprophytes. Sasa nani saprophytes? Ni viumbe ambao kikawaida wanaenda ku decompose dead organic matter. Na wao tuseme mfano kama vile tuseme kuna kigogo. Ina maana hichi kigogo ambacho kilichopo hapa ye ndio ambacho sikitakuwa kime contain nutrient kwa sababu ni living organism kilikuwa lakini tayari kimeshapoteza uhai. Ina maana yeye anaenda ku decompose material aliyokuwa mumble baadaye anayafunza akishayafunza baadaye anaenda kuyafanya nini anayatumia kwa hiyo saprophytes maana yake ni system ambayo organism anaenda ku decompose dead organic matter akisha ku decompose baadaye anaenda kuifanya nini anaenda kuyabsorb baadaye anaisimulate simeni fahamu zuri sasa saprophytes mvip mfano hem tuchukue mfano kama huyu kiumbe ambaye anaitwa kama ni masho au anamuita kama ni agaricus compactus Agaricus compactus ama mushroom huyu ni mfano wa hiyo saprophytes na yeye anaonesha external digestion almost tunasema kwamba saprophytes wao wanaonesha external digestion kivipi umeona sisi wanadamu digestion yetu tunafanya ndani ya miili yetu lakini wao digestion yao wanaifanya nje ya miili yao ndio maana tunasema ni external digestion kwa maana kwamba hivi huyu mushroom yeye yeah, anaenda kuzalisha enzyme enzyme wale ambao anaenda kuzalisha yeye mfano mzuri kama vile lipezi kuna enzyme ambayo anaitwa kama ni carbohydrates kuna enzyme ambayo anaitwa kama ni nani protease pamoja na nuclease umeona hizi hapa niloziandika hapa lipid carbohydrate protein pamoja na nucleic acid hizi zitakuwa zinapatikana ndani ya hichi kigogo utaanza kujiuliza swali je kazi pata wapi hii si alikuwa kiumbe hai ina maana hizi zitakuwa alikuwa nazo kafa nazo au si utajiuliza swali nucleic acid je anayo anaipata wapi si umeshasoma kule DNA na RNA kwenye biochemistry ina maana kule wale wanapatikana ndani ya seli na huu si alikuwa kiumbe hai na ana seli ina maana kwamba zile zitakuwa zina exist ndani ya seli sasa lipezi ye huyu enzyme huyu huyu mashu ye yeah, anaenda kuzalisha enzyme lipezi lipezi huyu anaenda kuiconvert lipid ndani ya kigogo kuipeleka fatty acid and glycerol carbohydrates ambayo atakayemzalisha ye anaenda kuiconvert carbohydrates kuipeleka into glucose na protease ye yeah, anaenda kuiconvert protein na anaipeleka into amino acid simenifanya mzuri mbaga kwa na maana kwamba sasa hivi sisi tutakuwa tuna system hii tutakuwa tuna tutakuwa tuna nutrient hizi hapa pamoja na hii nucleus huyu hapa anaenda kuconvert nucleic acid na kuipeleka into nani into nucleotide constituent ina maana utapata picha hivi sasa hivi hichi kigogo kitakuwa kumbe kishakuwa converted into fatty acid and glycerol glucose amino acid na nucleic acid constituent hizi constituent zilizopatikana hapa ndizo ambazo zitakazoenda kufyonzwa kupitia hii mizizi ambayo ya huyu mushroom ambayo tunaita kama ni hi-fi ina maana itafunzwa kuingia ndani ya nini ndani ya hii mushroom ikiingia ndani ya mushroom ina maana that we call kwamba ameshafyonza ameshaabsorb kama ameshaabsorb ina maana sasa hivi ile nutrient iliyopatikana inabidi ende akaisimulate the swine ndio maana tukasema hivi kwanza anaenda ku decompose baadaye anaenda ku assimilate akisha akisha ana absorb finally anaenda kufanya kitu gani anaenda ku assimilate kwa kuwa lipid to fatty acid and glycerol carbohydrate to glucose protein to amino acid nucleic acid to nucleic acid constituent of course tumeona kwamba mambo kama haya sisi tunafanya ndani ya miili yetu lakini wao wameenda kuwafanya wapi nje ya miili yao kwa kama ameyafanya nje ya miili yao the swine ndio maana tunaita kama ni external diet digestion na kwa nini tuita saprophytes wana decompose dead organic matter na na absorb nutrient from dead organic matter simepata hivi maana yake ana absorb humu 
na anaenda anaida igesti ile nutrient kutoka hapa hapa ina maana yake we call the gamma nene kama ni saprophytism si mnafahamu vizuri mpaka hapa kwa hiyo ndo tunaita kama ni saprophytic nutrition ama tunaita system of saprophytic lakini tunaona kwamba kiumbe anaenda anapata chakula kutoka kutoka kwenye mazingira asiyo kuwa mwili wake hiyo ndo tunasema kama ni saprophytic nutrition hal kadhalika vile vile tuna aina ya nutrition ambayo tunaita kama ni kama ni ni, ni, ni holozoic nutrition. Nini maana holozoic nutrition sasa? Kumbukeni kwamba bado tuna discuss introduction of nutri, nutrition. Holozoic nutrition ni aina ya nutrition ambayo inafanywa na viumbe ambao watakao kuwa wana sifa kuu mbili. Sifa ya mwanzo kwanza wao wana complex wana complex digestive system wana complex complex digestive system hal kadhalika wao wao wakawa wana wana consume complex food ina maana ulaji wao chakula anachokila wao kwanza kinakuwa ni kigumu hal kadhalika vile vile na system yao ya digestion ni ipo nini ipo complex vile hemvu utapicha nyuma tulipoangalia symbiosis tuliona wao wana absorb to nutrient how obtain the complex na hatukusema kwamba bacteria yeye labda alikuwa ana digestive system labda alikuwa ana tumbo na nini na maana alikuwa ana complex digestive system ukienda sako kwenye mutuali zina wengine na wengine unakutia kwamba wao hatukusema kwamba alikuwa ana complex digestive system lakini tukirudi kwenye holozoic nutrition tunakutia kwamba wao system yao maana yake ipo complex hal kadhalika hata chakula ambacho wanachokila wao lazima kijikiwe ni complex Are. sasa holozoic nutrition ina maana kwamba tukiangalia ukianza kuvuta picha sasa basi tuna uwezo wa kuigawa hii katika makundi makuu manne tunaweza kuigawa katika makundi makuu mangapi manne kwa we have four types of holozoic nutrition what to consider they have the complex digestive system they, they consume complex food substance now fano mzuri complex food substance kama vile mfano rudi nyuma mfano tuseme kama muhogo maana ningekupa mfano wa muhogo ndio utajua kwamba hii ni complex food substance sindio ndio ina maana yeye sasa anahitaji mambo fulani ili kukamilisha digestion yake ina maana hii holozoic nutrition tunaingia katika makundi makuu manne kwanza kuna ile ambayo wanaita kama ni carnivores 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 na viumbe ambao watakuwa wanapatikana hapa watakuwa ni nani wanaitwa kama ni carnivores wao hao ndio ambao wanaenda kuconsume nini kwenda kuconsume meat wao ndio ambao wanakula nyama sio ndio hizi ni darasa la, la pili huko so alikadhalika vile vile kuna nani kuna herbivores herbivores ambao hii viumbe ambao wanaopatikana hapa tutakuwa tunaita kama ni nani kama ni habi habivores habivores nao wanaenda consume nini vegetable vijana anaita vijimeza vijimeza vidogo vidogo si ni ni chakula aina ya mboga mboga lakini vile vile kuna hii ambao wanaita kama ni omnivores au omnivores ambao omnivores ni system ya ulaji lakini viumbe ambao wanapatikana wanaitwa kama ni omni omnivores wao hawa na consume both meat pamoja na na vegetables na alikadhalika vile vile kuna system ambayo wanaita kama ni insectivorous 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 na viumbe ambao watakuwa wanapatikana watakuwa wanaitwa kama ni insect insectivorous wao ndio ambao wana consume wadudu lakini ni insect his system is a in an is a holozoic nutrition Carnivores mfano mzuri kama vile tukirudi mfano mzuri kama vile tukimwangalia nani Tukimwangalia mfano simba si ndio ndio wao wanakula nyama si Abivores mfano kama vile akina ngombe wala akina ruminant Omnivores mfano kama mwanadamu tuna mixed au si au mfano mzuri kama vile pig nguruwe kwa hiyo ana mix anakula mboga mboga hali kadhalika na anakula nyama lakini ukija kwa upande wa huu insectivores wao wanakula adudu na mfano mzuri wa insectivores mfano kama kuna mti 
fulani wanaita kama ni sandeo au wanaita kama ni wanaita drosera ssp maana kani ina speech mfano mzuri kama hapa wanaita wanaita kama ni san sandio sandio au wanaita kama ni dro drosera SPP ndio ina species fulani wanaita kama ni Drosera SSP. Fano msuri kuna kuna kipindi niliwahi kuangalia movie fulani. Huo ulikuwa unaonesha kuna miti iko sensitive sana. Fano kama vile akiingia mdudu tu basi ile ua unakutia kama ipo kama system ya ina kama ua hivi ama kono akiingia mdudu inajibana. Ina maana ile ndio tunaita kama ni Drosera Drosera SSP. Kwa hii sasa ni miti ambayo kika au ni viumbe ambao kikawaida wana obtain complex system of digestion hal kadhalika wao wana obtain complex food substance sasa kwa kuwa wao sasa wanakiingiza chakula in form of complex of course tutaget a picture kwamba wanahitaji wao sasa kile kitu akilainisha mpaka kuna kupata end product kama tulivyoona mushroom walivyofanya tarebu mfano mzuri je yeah. hawa sasa ile path kile chakula kitakuwa kinapitishwa kwa njia ipi hiyo holozoic nutrition ina maana holozoic nutrition path yao kwanza vuta picha hebu kama kitakuwa ni complex basi yeye inambidi sasa ende kwanza aka ingest ende aka kiingize kichwani na maana ende aka ingize kinywani usi ina maana pale hii tuseme ni kuingiza chakula lakini kuingia ndani ya bacal cavity. Maana kukuingiza chakula ndani ya kinywa. Chakula kama atakiingiza ndani ya kinywa ina maana ni taking in of food lakini kuingia ndani ya nini? Bacal cavity. Sare. Akishaingiza ndani ya bacal cavity, of course yu kiumbe kinachohitajika sasa ende kile chakula akakifanyia kitu gani? ende akajifanyie digestion ina maana kama tuseme hicho chakula kilikuwa kina mono manyingi zilizoungana ina maana yeye ende akakivunje akakipeleke katika mono ambazo zilizokuwa ni separate ili hichi chakula kiwe na uwezo wa kwenda kufanyiwa mambo mengine tofauti tofauti kwa hiyo holozoic nutrition ni ina nutrition ambayo kiumbe lazima ende akakiingize chakula ndani ya mwili wake kupitia bacal cavity akisaga akisha kisaga ni ya tatu sasa ende akafanye akafanye nini ina maana huyu ende akafanye absorption ende akafanye kitu gani absorption si umeona jalia mfano hili hapa ndo cyst zile mono mazishapelekwa katika separate separate huu sindo mwili wa kiumbe inabidi hii sindo digestive system mambo yetu tunaita complex digestive system ina maana yeye lazima ende akakiabsorb kiingie ndani ya nini ndani ya mishpa ya damu kitoke kwenye digestive system na kende kikaingia katika nini blood capillary that we call kama ni absorption anapoenda kufanya absorption baadaye sasa anatakiwa ende kile chakula ende akakitumia ina maana lazima ende akakifanyie nini assimile assimilation si umeona hapa chakula huu kesha kiingiza ndani ya mishpa ya damu ina maana kama ashaingiza ndani ya mishpa ya damu humu si mnaseli ina maana kama mnaseli kile chakula kinatakiwa sasa kinde kikatumike ndani ya seli ina maana tunaweza kusema kwamba hii system ndio inaitwa kama nini assimilation takiingiza chakula ndani ya mdomo kaki digest na maana digestion tutapata picha kwamba ni ile breaking down ya large monomer into separate monomer so, large polymer into separate monomer lakini absorption maana yake tunasema kwamba ni ile ni ile ni ile system ya kwamba kile chakula kinatolewa kutoka kwenye digestive system na kinaingizwa ndani ya mishpa ya damu lakini tunapozungumza assimilation maana yake ni ile system ambayo sasa kile chakula kinaenda kuwa utilized within the cell that we call kama ni metabolism simeni fahamu zuri kwa tunapoimaliza tunapo tunapoangalia sasa assimilation chakula ambacho angalia sasa hizi chakula wakati kimepelekwa katika monoma ina maana kuna molecule zitaenda kufyonzwa lakini kuna molecule ambazo zitakuwa haziwezi kusagika na kuna nyingine automatic hazisagiki kuna nyingine hazikusagwa vizuri na kuna nyingine hazisagiki ni zipi ambazo hazisagiki mfano kama vile cellulose 
Cellulose maana yake hatuna enzyme ambayo inaitwa kama cellulase mfano kama cis ina maana zile zitahitajika sasa zende zikafanywe kitu gani ejection zende zikatolewe ina maana hii ni out hapa nini hii ni in tunaingiza mwisho tunaenda tunafanya nini tunatoa baada haya mambo haya hapa kupita na batari tumesha discuss ina maana kwamba ejection that is external while ingestion that is internal ina maana tunaingiza inward that is outward. Simili kama mzuri mpaka. Ina maana hii ndio ninaisema kama nini ni path of holozoic nutrition. Sasa holozoic nutrition hii tukiangalia vizuri hebu turudini pale kwenye digestion. Muona pale kwenye digestion. Chakula tunakitoa from large polymer ndo tulivyosema na tunakipeleka into separate monomer sindo ndio lakini sasa hii system wa kuipeleka into separate mono inategemea kwa una ile system ambayo physical we focus maana kitu kinaweza tukaangalia mfano ukichukulia mchi na akili unapoitoa anga ile mboga ina maana unakutia kwamba uliliingiza jani zima usi lakini linakatika vipande vipande na kuna system ambayo inaweza kuchukua kemiko mie baada ya kupatikana vile vipande vidogo vidogo nikaenda nikaingiza kemiko vikasagwa vyote vile vikazidi kuwa vidogo na bila kuona ni usagaji unatokea katika system gani kwa hiyo that we call kama ni chemical kama ni chemical digestion ina maana ya kwamba hivi tunaweza kusema digestion nayo tunaigawa katika makundi makuu mangapi mawili kuna digestion ambayo inaitwa kama ni mechanical digestion na kuna digestion ambayo tutakaoenda kuita kama nini kama ni chemical chemical digestion kama ni chemical digestion kwa tutakuwa tuna mechanical digestion au kadhalika na tuna chemical digestion angalia hivi umeona mechanical digestion na chemical Mechanical digestion jalia hili mena na pande la muhogo hili ya. Pande la muhogo hili linapelekwa into separate small particle. Lakini hizi small particle hizi hii moja ukaenda ukaichukua inaenda kuingiziwa chemical. Humu si mtakuwa mna A zilizogandana AA. Hizi AA sasa zinaenda kupelekwa into separate AA AA AA. This we call the chemical kwa sababu ime involve breaking down of bond lakini hii kitu tumeenda ku involve a physical digestion that we call kama ni mechanical digestion. Tare, kwa hiyo utapata picha hii mechanical digestion hii inatumia energy lakini hii chemical digestion maana yake unaweza kutumia kwamba haitumii nini? Haitumii force maana yake haina nguvu ambayo wewe unaenda kuitumia vipi hamna nguvu ambayo unaenda kuitumia maana yake huhisi kwamba mimi sasa hivi ninaenda kufanya mechanical mechanical digestion tunaisema kwamba ni breaking down of large substance into into smaller ones lakini hii sasa hivi chemical digestion it is a breaking bond maana yake ni kwenda ku break bond bond na tunaitoa into nini into from polymer na kuipeleka into nini into monomer monomer mbona maana mono, yake ndio hizo separate aa tare kwa hiyo hii kwa upande wa digestion sasa inafanywa na nani na enzymes lakini hii huko mechanical digestion sasa itakuwa inafanywa either na meno ama na tumbo ama kwa kutumia nini kwa kutumia chemical flani mfano chemical kama hizo kuna tutaziona mbele kuna sodium potassium tauroclate na glycocolate kwa ina maana kwamba mechanical digestion ina maana kwamba tunaweza kusema mfano mzuri kama vile chewing chewing ama anaita kama ni mastication sio masturbation mastike mastication maana yake kuchakua kuchakua halikadhalika vile vile kuna kuna hii nini ambayo anaita kama ni churning churning maana yake tutaziona mbele hizi mastication ni nini na churning nini chewing maana yake kuchakua au mastication na chani maana yake ndio ile system ya tumbo kujiviringa viringa lengo maana yake kuli convert ile bola into smaller particle lakini vile vile na na, na mfano mwingine anaita kama ni emulsification emulsification tutaona mbele emulsification ndio nini sasa hizi ndio mifano ya mechanical digestion lakini chemical digestion 
ndo zile za enzyme bana kikaitwa starch to maltose kaitwa lipid to fatty acid and glycerol na zote kama utakuja gundua maana yake zinafanywa na nani na enzyme sasa utaanza kujiuliza swali kwa nini ziwepo zote mbili katika mwili wa kiumbe zinakuwepo zote mbili kwa sababu haiwezi kutokezea chemical digestion kama mechanical digestion haikutokezea kivipi umeona ili pande zima la mhogo enzyme hawezi kwenda kuingia mpaka ndani ya kasaga kila kitu isipokuwa lazima rahisishiwe ipelekwe intonin into smaller ones baadaye ile smaller ones ndio ajianda itumie nani enzyme kwa hiyo tunaweza kusema kwamba mechanical digestion ina msaada kwanza ina facilitate chemical digestion ina facilitate nini chemical digestion digestion Simulifanzu. lakini vile vile he mvuta picha kwa mfano kile chakula kilichomo ndani ya mdomo kingezekanaje kumezwa kile pande zima la mhogo ina maana ina msaada hata food path food path au food passage through gut maana yake chakula vile vile kianze kupita kupitia nini kupitia ile gut simulifanzu. mzuri kwa hiyo ina facility chemical digestion enzyme waweze kufikia kile chakula hal kadhalika vile vile food pass na sometime unaweza kusema ina facility of chemical digestion na maana ina increase rate of chemical reaction si unajua maana yake particle surface area kiongezeka rate of chemical reaction inaongezeka na maana hapa tukiingiza particle nyingi na maana rate of chemical reaction itazidi kuongezeka wa hadha salamu alaykum and that is how we discuss ni kitu ambacho tunaita kama ni kama ni introduction of nutrition